Hey folks, I'm CPC Gamer, and welcome to the stream! As, as soon as I hit the live button, Empirical Woodland also hit the live button, and Polly hit the live button, three-way dueling Kamehameha, it's fantastic. I hope everyone's having a good time. Oh, Wales, I'm glad you like the music. It's, it's very... appropriately, it's, uh going on an adventure through the jungle music, isn't it? That's what it was used for originally. It's, a, it's from a game called Tusca. It's pretty good. So, where are we? What are we doing? I'll tell you what we're doing. <clears throat> um, the answer's Wrestle Quest. See? Now, if I will actually, um, I'll grab the direct download link and send it to you, because it's free. You just, it's online, you just have it. So, yes, all of those things, Crowley9. You've you've enjoyed the last ninja a time or two on this stream, I seem to recall. Um, so yeah, what we did after the last stream, uh, game crashed. We go through Blind Gorge. Uh, thankfully, the game auto saved like right here, so we can just continue on with our adventure and head to the north. And find all of these bits that we couldn't do before. Oh yeah, that's right. We're actually going to Count Diet. Because this is where the tribute to the troops is. That's what it's called with the WWE. It took me a while to remember it. Literally just now. <clears throat> Lock on. I knew I recognized that insignia. What are you doing out here? Nuke! Me and the crew are fighting Iron Edict Wrestling, a tyrannical wrestling promotion from Parts Unknown. This game, it keeps on going, Detective Heartache. I, we've gotten to a part that I thought would be the conclusion, but we're still going. That's fine, because I, I like a good RPG, and I do like a bit of wrestle bollocks. So, so, you know, come with me on this magical journey. <laughs> the IEW, huh? Thought Sergeant Slaughter took him out decades ago. One of those cheap cereal box toys blasted a patrol of when we arrived. You know this soldier? Yeah, Lockhart is no ordinary soldier. He's a vinyl core private military toy, just like me. Yeah, except I never got out. <laughs> How's life beyond combat boots and MREs treating you? It's nothing but sunshine. Say, an IAW grappler squad captured a smuggler of ours, supposed to be bringing in some supplies. I'm gonna bail him out. Wanna come? There's a paycheck in it for you. Yeah, <laughs> you said the magic word. Let's lock and load. Perhaps we can get some footage for the promo video while we wait for Nuke and the others to return. You make a good point. What's the final episode of WWF Smackdown going to be? I don't know. <laughs> Jim Cornette wakes up and it was all a dream! Brink, you're back, but where is Stag? Sir, I'd like to reconsider your idea about a singles career for me. I am very happy to hear that, Mr. Logan. With you as its champion, PAW will do so much for the wrestling world. We'll show these other promotions how it's done. Thank you, Mr. Font. I promise I won't fail you. We need you, Brink. PAW needs you. Dash Talon just isn't doing it anymore. Especially since he lost a mall brawl. Plus, you have something to show. Your technical mastery, your dedication, your style, it's your wrestling spirit the masses need to see. Glad you think so, Mr. Font. Yes, my boy. My boy! You certainly have something to show. To show the entire toy room. And so do I. This is the piece all warriors strive for, Brink, my boy! I mean, it's a really interesting thing to think about. Just... Yeah, actually, where did this come from? Where is it going? 
because I've been dipping in and out of wrestling since, like, the, the, the 90s, 19, like, literally 1990, and, yeah, there's a lot of the same belts are still going, like, it's not the winged eagle anymore, but the WWF, WWE title belt is still a thing, like, wow, wild. So I just wanted to say, brother, you know, thanks for the service. Thanks, Bruder. I've always been a big fan. Me too. Sorry to interrupt, but man, Bruder, I've been in the Bruderhood for years. I couldn't believe it when I saw you at the Boxwood Battle, but I didn't want to say anything in front of the others. Oh, hey, always good to meet a fan. Say, you're a mechanic, aren't you? Slap Patch here is a tech officer, but he's a bit busted up. I snapped a rubber band in my T-crotch when one of those IEW invaders power me. Fortunately, there's little we can do about it until Lockhart gets back with supplies from the smuggler. I'm sorry, I don't think my branch of mechanics can help you. Maybe you could take some lot beds? No, dude. Slap Patch says the radar arrays over at Tattletail Heights are broken, man. If we repaired him, we could help lock on a nuke locate the smuggler. Think we could fix him? You and me? Together? Oh, Bruder, you made me one happy little brother here. That's not as good as Computer Love. I actually quite like that song. Jaded Mew, hello, thank you for witching. Oh, whales, thank you for lurking. Hope everyone's doing A-OK -okay today. Can I upgrade any of my dudes? Not with uh, any... Oh, hello, what was that? Beach Muscles! What does that do? Knockback chance increase. Nah, Beach Muscles. There you go. Now, now you're the bell of the ball. The volleyball. Yeah, I. It's been a long day. All right. <laughs> it's fun. Don't don't worry about it. And what have we got for little? Jimmy Jimmy over here. I don't know. I feel like the game's missing an optimized button. That'd be quite nice. Just make these numbers go as high as you can, game. I don't want to think about it. Well, that's the thing, Crawley9. Because we're playing as a bunch of toys and action figures, yeah, you just pop on and off body parts. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Jimmy, I'm sorry, are we just gonna hijack some military vehicles right about now? I could pop that last. Uh, yes, we are. This is moving very slowly. I'm fine with that because I I, I want to see what I'm going to get by uh, just hijacking an APC, apparently. <laughs> yep, game just lets me do that. All right, cool. Didn't we used to have more trucks around here? Nah, you... Imagining things, man. I didn't, you didn't see nothing. But yeah, we're a bunch of toys. So, you know, if you want to become stronger, you just pop on the Kung Fu Grip. Right? That's actually an item that I can... I mean, I can't build it because I don't have the parts. When I have the parts, I can build it. I imagine by the time I'm able to build the Kung Fu Grip, I will no longer require it. This is a shop. Let's go into the shop. Do we have any uh, stuff in here that I can buy?
put another one of those in the inventory for uh, Macho. Isn't there supposed to be music at some point? Uh, yes. Where is? I don't know. Tactical alarm clock. Never miss a wake-up call. Makes you immune to sleep. Oh. This is surreal with no music. Where are you? Like, I don't much like the little tootin' and dootin' military music, but you know, man, this is great. It's like going on a secret mission with my hero. Hey, with the stuff you pulled back in Malibu Heights, you're the real hero, dude. Bruda, can I ask you a question? Certainly. Anything for a member of the Brutahood. Why were you in Boxwood, betting money on yourself? Uh... What, dude? Little brothers ask the worst questions, don't they? Just answer the question, brother. Man, this is the last straw. First the Hellofend kicks me out of the big time. Then the fans kick him... Then the fans themselves start to doubt me. The Bruder can't even trust his Brutahood. Who can he? Cut the crap, bro. I see you leave with Muchacho Man in Boxwood, and he don't show up until after the mall brawl? You still haven't told me why you were in Boxwood in the first place. What am I, the Brutus Keeper? Look, dude, let's settle this later. After we fix the radar arrays. Alright, bro. But I'm watching you. There's also a secret mission up here. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll find out. Is that TM by Hasbro? It might be, actually. Probably not. This game doesn't have, like... It's it only got the wrestling promotions, not the... You know. Oh, man, all the way down there. Let's go for that one. Because I can't go to the mine yet, can I? That's... Yeah, no, the mine's over in San Sebastian. Well, now you say this, Crawly9. The game has kind of spoiled something that's coming up. And I'm not going to talk about it. Because then, like, we'll know. But, uh, yes. There's something coming up. I can't open it. It's jammed. Are those muscles in that do-rag just for show? Push, man! Do I look like I'm in labor? Don't tell me how to push, you ball cap wearing grease monkey. It's a power lock, dude. No power, no function. Mm, looks like the power supply is missing. <sighs> like, like a watch. Uh, yeah, kish, you like CS? I don't know. C's! Like a watch battery. Come on, let's look around. Gotta repair the radar arrays anyways. I thought it was like, like a battery, you know. Uh, but yeah, the game spoiled something in uh, the last episode, completely accidentally. I, I do not believe that it meant to do it, but it did. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of things to look for, isn't it? Yes, it is. Alright, what have you got, you flag? Are you gonna claim a country as your own? Gosh, imagine doing that. I'm just gonna nervously take a sip of this drink right here. I don't think I have anything that hits everyone. Unless you want to call out 
Andre the Giant, and I don't believe I want to do that for one of these. You do, don't you? Yeah, there you go. Deal damage to an enemy and his friends. See, the secret is that the flag tokens don't really do a great deal. Insert a battery. Fixed. Man, that thing is vibing. Look at it go. Battery. It's, it's pretty clever, Carly. Now I'm not gonna lie. Assault battery, and then the actual battery. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is called that on account of battering. Probably. I don't know. What do I look like, Johnny Words Man? I no. I can see where this might be an opportunity to just get some supplies um, for Jimmy. Because he's not been doing a great deal. Re recipe, lash back earrings. Oh, can I make my diamond earrings? Oh, what? Oh, there's like two pages of stuff to make some of this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see? Kung Fu Grip. I need some plastic coins. But I don't think it's going to be worth it by the time I am able to build one. What do you do? Return a portion of damage taken to the assailant. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, this guy saw us. Hello, Zarkrai. Thank you for rolling in with the breeze. Hope you're having a good time. All right, let's let's steal some stuff from these new enemies that I don't know what they have to steal. Probably nothing. Because they don't... Oh, do you know what? It seems like these guys are not going to have anything to steal. Because they... Existed in a, a part of the game where steel uh, wasn't available. I don't like when games do that. <laughs> like, I feel like all enemies should have a loot table. Because then, like now, what happens if you come back later with the ability to steal? You're just wasting your time. Zakrai is good, but chilling, that's what we want. Chill is good. Not doing much. Enjoying a bit of wrestling. That's what we like to see. That's what I like to see anyway. That's, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm still going. You gonna you gonna throw something at me that game? Come on, come on. Okay, 
So this is the kind of thing where the flag token becomes uh, useful if we allow it to get an attack in. Because what happens is the flag token sacrifices its own life and gives substantial backup to the people around it. Uh, okay, cool. Get super counted, dude. You don't... Down you go. I guess it just becomes a problem in areas like this one where it's, um... You know, you have to go up against a whole squad of them. And then they combo into one another. Figured, you know what? There might be a fight coming up. Get some of that HP on Jimmy. Don't need to worry about it with the Bruder. He just leveled up his own self. For, for kicking a flag. RPGs are weird. That's all of them. It's got to be one more battery for that bunker door, however. That mini quest over there, that's gonna bug me. Uh, dude? This door is still locked. I'm sorry, Brute, are you talking to me directly there? How dare you? I thought that I had the extra key that I needed. Well, there you go. Now, I have all of them. Yeah, well, there's... That's what local high school uh, students wish they could do. At the very least in my high school. Because we, we were super edgy. You don't even know. Alright, time to light this baby up. Uh, dude... This door is still locked. Please enter the correct passcode sequence. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Who said that? Me. I did. I'm Simon S. Simon Entry System. Simon S. Oh. Look, man. I'm sorry. I don't know the password. Could you give us a hint? Really? That's your strategy? A hint sounds reasonable. Simon says enter. Aw, oh, thank you, Simon. I love when it's super easy like that. I don't like Simon. But when it's easy enough to do that, that was... That was great. Nice job, Bruda. Thanks. The control room must be down this hallway. You bet I gotta do even more Simons now. My are oh, we having a dance off? Well, if Simon says it, hang on, let's go for one of those. And let's go for one of those. There you go. Enjoy those on the screen for as long as it takes them to leave. This, this is just the same puzzle. <gasps> I th 
Surely that at the top is not what I think it is. Let's find out. It's like the devs knew that Simon is really, really annoying, so they don't make you do it too much. But just commit to the bit, you know? Yes! <laughs> Thank goodness I helped. Alright, let's see what the radar has to report. Oh. Oh no. What is it, man? This place is a little brighter than my walk-on route. Walk-on routine. The radar. It's reporting another Ryan Edict wrestling attack. Oh, come on, man. No one uses Telegram. Get out of here. That's not a thing. I wanna see Green Jim! It's his head that's gonna roll! What? What is it? Why'd you stop? Just that last line felt a little... Dumb? I was gonna say underwhelming. Hmm. We don't want that. We wanna whelm people, at least. What we need is something with a bit more punch. Pardon me, but perhaps something like this was closer to your expectations. Nice! Wow! You like a one woman special effects department. It's all part of my incredible ability as a metamorpher. That's like the third one of those. Th thanks for this tutorial, game. Calling me impressed. Me too. Veneta, we could use someone of your talents. Well, I have thought of myself as a military officer on occasion. Oh, I'm not asking you to enlist. My scouts have uncovered a cache of heavy weapons. When I need it, wrestling has incapacitated all my vehicles for now. Apparently you can suplex tanks and jeeps as well as trains. But, with them out of commission, there's no one to retrieve the weapons cache. Do you think you could tow them back to base for me? Possibly, but not in any of my current forms, I'm afraid. In that case, there's an old crane over the tank graveyard. Bet you could get something from that to help you. You see, suplexing trains. That's the second time suplexing trains has come up in this here game. And uh, you know what? I'm here for it. Go, let's get a bit of an extra thing for you. Didn't you get something? Mm, I really, really want that, but at the same time, 40% crit chance. <laughs> Fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. So one of the things that I did um, when replaying the game to get to the the points I needed to go to, I should have saved the game. You, you, you gonna show me why I should have saved the game? Game? Hopefully not. We've only been going for half an hour. The crashing does seem to be more prevalent, like the longer you play a single session, which doesn't really help that I tend to go for two or three hours at a time now, does it? No. This must be the tank graveyard. And that must be the tow winch you need. With that, you could tow anything. Come on, amigo. Amigas. Ha! <laughs> I know what that line means because of the computer. Generally... It is 
assume that like the Amiga is named after the Spanish word for girlfriend, but it's not like girlfriend someone you're dating. It's like my friend who is a girl, which there you go. It is a word I have used a time or two at work. Let's go for one of those. Today's announcement. Hey. <laughs> Apparently, Vanetta leveled up from that. She learned a thing or two. Just nuking some flag tokens. Good. Is it telling me that I'm missing treasure? Not like a hidden treasure chest somewhere around here, as the. I can't imagine the game's gonna make it this easy. It's not like go to the tank graveyard and get the thing and go back. You'd hope it wouldn't do that. That would feel like padding. Padding in my RPG. Yeah, it is. Sort of thing. Alright. I have heard and been a part of, like, discourse on the idea of padding, particularly in RPGs, because isn't. Isn't everything padding? Like, if you think about it, Criddle is here! Hello, hello! That was that was a really bad thing to have done. These guys are refusing to take damage. Oh no. Yeah. But like So for example, you go to play Final Fantasy 8 because this is just for whatever reason what comes to mind. You're playing Final Fantasy 8 and you've got to do the attack mission on Dalit right at the start, yeah? But you can't. You have to go and do the fire cave first. Is that padding? Well, no. It's part of the gameplay, isn't it? I don't know. How are we doing? I'm doing okay. It has been... An exceptionally busy day at work. Gather your energy, release it against your enemies and for your friends. That's a new one. Oh yeah, that's the one that I found in the the jungle board, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I have that! If they wanted the real experience, it would miss. I think it's the same argument as filler in anime. Something deemed unimportant. Fair enough, I suppose. Power converters! And a sailor arm. Having a lovely day because school was cancelled today. And Rin is here! Both of these are lovely things. Tough stuff built up from salty sea work. May short circuit your enemies. Weapon rating 63. Yes! Hey, there you go. There you go. Everybody in my chat gets a command. What is it? The bot says something nice about you. Just like I will. Because I'm big on hyping up my friends. Today's announcement. 
Crawley will need to get one set up. I have an idea for what it is, and that is um, reminding people that you are not a vampire. Which, uh, which is true. Crawley cr definitely, definitely not vampire. Rin, I look forward to what that is we will find out right now i'm going to uh throw a toaster at these guys that is a microwave um th that's fine i see that little one pip on the discord i'll click on that shortly because right now I'm going to find a crane. Um, but yeah, the idea that something is filler because it's unimportant. Well, how are we going to define that? Because again, going back to Final Fantasy VIII, the fire cave at the start, it's not really, it's not unimportant because it you get your first summon attack from it. And that's, well, you, you don't, you get your third, but you know what I mean. Um... Go for fire. Time for a special but it I say, is is that filler? Because you could just go to Dollar and and do the thing. That is Underwhelming. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid those the whole game. That's, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Andre, do the cool pose. Come and help. I don't think that Andre the Giant would just show up and go, Grrr! bellowing in incomprehensible French, or as I call it. French. Because I don't speak the language. That's the joke. Oh, I'm sure it makes sense to someone, Crawley9. I'm sure Empirical Woodland would like to come up in here and... Oh. Moi je sois, je voudrais un café. What's that? I don't know. We've been played for fools. Did Veneta just get two levels? Amazing. Peppinado? I don't know that I want to know what that is, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Oh, is this what we're doing? <laughs> a maze has one exit, but a labyrinth has several. Or is that the other way around? I don't, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, digger time! This should be more than satisfactory. I 
Outstanding. Let's return. Tell General M the good news. Didn't bring snacks to open to my computer now. Criddle! I want you to know I'm most assuredly not mad at you. But I'm definitely judging you. Surely you know to bring snacks. Where? Anywhere. Good, I found you. Come back to base, quick. The IEW is attacking. Yeah, see? Snacks, some lunch, just, just get some foods. How's it feel, Nuke? Kinda clammy out here. Must be the lake effect. <laughs> Not the weather, you rock. I'm talking about this, being back in action. Honestly, it feels like home. I lied before. Being out, it's hard. Like I didn't belong. That's because you didn't. Read the writing on the back of the box, pal. You, me, Toys like us are designed to fight. It's all there for us. Maybe you're right. Say, why is the IEW attacking anyways? I thought Sergeant Slaughter finished them off. Nah, if only. They just coiled up and bided their time until they could make a new attack. First I thought it was just marketing, but they sure are taking this invasion angle seriously. Sir, the target is up ahead, sir. Come on, let's see if you still have it together. Crawley 9, let me tell you something. B -b Brother. Um. It is surprisingly useful in certain instances. Like, I don't believe I have ever been angry at Tiny Child. Like, I've been upset, but I've not been angry at her. And that's that's a good way of communicating that, is like... Kid, you can do better than this. Come on. You again? Seems like a light guard detail. Count as lucky, then. Alright, troops, here's the plan. We'll cause a diversion while Nuke sneaks through and releases the captive. You sure you're up for that, newbie? Watch it, grunt. Nuke's the best of the best. Show him what you made for, Nuke. You just keep that diversion nice and loud, got it? I mean, this is a little about... A little along the lines of what we were talking about yesterday. There you go. Hey, knockoffs! Did I see your mother over Twisty shaking her hinge joints? Hey, my mother is stationed in an impenetrable fortress. Impenetrable, eh? That's not what I heard. How dare you, you bent plastic knockoff! Idiots. I know, right? Who imprisons a fish next to a sea? Yikes! Where'd you come from? Doesn't matter. Are you the smuggler headed to Camp Diet? Sure am. Got a bunch of model glue, tea crotch rubber bands, and other medical supplies. The tyrannical wrestlers took off me. They're uh, in the tent. Well, thank you very much, Crawley Nine. I like that. It is. It is something that I strive to be. Almost too easy. Is that what we're going to do for the diversion? It was all in a cutscene? Master, the fleet is in ordained position, Master. Morons! Huh? Oh, sorry, I had that dream again. The fleet is in position, sir. I needed wrestling rises. Reminding all of our deniable and mandatory crowd appeal. Who's fleet? 
Never mind. Bruiser, unleash your fiercest weapon to dispel any forces near the landing zone. Welcome back, old whales. Thank you so much for the unlurk. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for being here. Oh, are we gonna play battleships? Kind of surprised we haven't done battleships yet. Did you see that? An RC jet. That's heavy firepower, even for the IEW. Looks like the Aedic does have some serious backing. We can figure it out later. Let's split up, rendezvous back in the patch path to Camp Diet. There's a lot going on in this game, isn't there? My goodness. I, I thought we were here to talk about WrestleMans. Apparently not. Did I get that? E I did get that extra gun for you. Oh my. 6% crit chance. 31% crit chance. There you go. And, um, and some nice fluffy sandals. There you go. Rad card, you just keep doing your thing, man. I wonder if that grappling hook is going to be for Rad card. Sure is! Not as good as what I have. Just deal slash damage. Do I want that? I don't know. Oh, nice! A whales uh, uh, is doing self care and also pet care. This is what we like to see. Especially when expecting. Like, I. Uh, we've had a couple of, like, work babies. While I've been working at this particular position, and it is always interesting to see how people react to it differently, but a general constant I have been given is there is literally no tiredness like this. So, yeah, take care of yourself, get that energy up. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, with Nuke, we're gonna do Salvo. This is why. Um, so now Radcard can just get in and uh, get some pins. I'm trying to figure out if Radcard is some variety of a pun that is relevant. I can't work it out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. See, I can only imagine the energy's hard to come by. So, like, like I say, and like I will always say, take care of self. Make it happen. I need to check out what that snake biter. Um, 
passive does. Because I didn't. And I should. Come on, this way. Fubar, we'll find a way around. That's not how you use the term Fubar. It's not an exclamation like that. It is... Uh, it's a TLA is what it is. Hopeful the juice will give you some good energy. I will send you all the good energy in the world. And positive vibes. And... Oh! Actually, speaking of music, oh whales! Oh no, oh no! I want to deal with you. The diplomacy fails, phone based superiority is the only answer. Mega damage against all enemy units. Drop a nerf dart on him. Anyways, um, yeah. So, um, oh whales. I put a piece of music in my Discord server when you went, "Hey, what was the soundtrack to your dream?" And I went, "Here it is." And uh, now you know. Not the one from the intro, I didn't do that yet. But um, I will I'll make a point to do that as well. Oh man. Alright, have I got any cool tricks that I can do? Not really. Okay, well, there you go. Let's let's just do standard attacks. The hypest thing in the world. Man, do I want to do Salvo again? I kind of don't want to do Salvo again, but at the same time, that middle guy will go down with this shot, so... And then... Real quick... Duct tape on Nuke, and then... In a turn or two... This is what I get from looking away! A critical one lit that one's on you! That one's on you! Fix me, Nuke! You know what you're doing! Get signal! And all the rest of that. Right. Pin that lad. Or don't. Right, cut you suck. I really, I feel like I'm wasting a turn bringing everyone up, but there you go. That's not the right button at all. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, cool. Let's, let's cheat. 
Also, yes, please pass along this message of love and affection to Ash. Ash is good cat. Thanks, Andre. <laughs> oh, what a bro. Right. Now let's actually get the pin this time, yeah? I'm going to tell you a secret now, Rin. Um, they're basically all good cats. Like, my parents' cat is generally quite mean to that dog. But she's still quite a good cat. Oh, did we just turn off the hype meter? Did we just power me up? Beyond comprehension. I think we may well have done that very thing. Right, real quick. Let's just slap one of those on you. And go for the pin. Oh, whales and Criddle are going to lurk. Well, that's cool. As I say before, and I will always say, thank you very much for the lurk. Thank you for hanging out. My voice is right here for all of you. And... Hi. I hope you are enjoying this. So we're a little more prepared for the next fight. We should get levels after the next fight. So that's good to know. Ooh, stuff. See, there you go. That's the duct tape that I have just used. To <gasps> I got ambushed. That was a Metal Gear Solid ring moment. Ah! Criddle has gifted some subs to the community. Thank you most very much. That means a lot. Please enjoy your subs. Night 9, Click 86, Iron God 21, Lady Luna Phoenix, and Detective Heartache. Please enjoy your pengs, your wonderful, beautiful artwork done by the very talented Goldfish Teeth. I don't like the word talented because it implies they don't try. But you know what I mean, right? I think people know what I mean when I say that. And I'm just being finicky. Hello, I'm CPC Gamer. I panic a lot about the meaning of words and uh, being potentially misunderstood. It is known. I do that. Can I do anything with Radcard? I can't. Go invisible for two turns. Eh. Like, I've been doing a bit of world building with a friend of mine recently. And I've mentioned, like, oh, I know how your world building tends to go. And that's not fair, because it's not his world building that goes like that. It's world building in general for RPG campaigns and storytelling. Yes! Tends to take certain turns. And, like, that's what we're doing. This is, that's, that's the wrong word. Calvary is the place. Cavalry is the unit. 
Get it right, Nuke. Don't, don't you be stuttering during the quick time events game. That does not make this easier for me. <laughs> it, it's the opposite of that. say surely we're getting to the point that we can we can do some about that and we did oh no nuke I need you to get that level up friendo it's not happening I did one! That's what you get for ambushing me, you jerk. No, oh, I see that one. I see that guy. Laser sight. I feel like that's going to be upgrade accuracy. Well, would you look at that? I upgraded and fixed Nuke. Who knew? Um, let's equip... It's going to be down here, isn't it? Yeah, laser sight. Get the edge by cancelling your target's dodge score. That could be interesting if this game has an equivalent to Cactuars. Or the metal slimes, like absolute bucket of experience points. If you can hit them. Another attack? Yeah, and it's a big one. Dude, it looks like they even sent it a top gun. What makes you say that? It briefly had this whole patriotic military persona gimmick, so I know a thing or two about radar and military gear. Gear like that? Uh, yeah, dude. Let's get over there and send a message back to Camp Diet. I hope that did it. I'm with you, Crowley. I saw your message a while back. Not expecting me to know Morse code. How dare you, game. I want a reference sheet. I have to Google it. Ridiculous. Gear up the spring-loaded cannons. Switch out the cap guns for the dart guns. General. Are you sure? That's right, Private. We're going full suction. Steal me, says that car. General M, what's going on? An IEW attack. Looks like they're sending in their whole fleet. And their entire wrestling stable. Your friends at the radar bunker sent us the warning. I'll cut to the chase. We need to stop their forces now. How can we do that? The weapons cache we found. We can detonate it in the canyon ahead and seal off the passage to Camp Diet. Are you with me? Just point me in the right direction. Seriously? You want to go into a battlefield? That's your plan? I'm the king of spontaneity. I don't need a plan. See, that's how you know it's a fictional version of Macho Man Randy Savage. Not coming into a match with everything written down. Oh, no. No, we are not doing that. Master, we have arrived. Night 9, hello. Th thank you very much to Criddle for your gifted sub. Please enjoy your pangs. Yeah. Excellent. It's time to do the... 
the thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, could you explain that? Send in our ground forces, Bruiser. Moron, I was just about to say that. Well, now you see, because Cobra Commander is blue, um, and that guy is white, so... <laughs> Clearly not Cobra Commander, what are you talking about? This is crazy talk. Alright, you'll have to take the explosive to the crest of the canyon. We'll provide cover from here. We don't want to waste a shot. Are you kidding? This is no time for a wrestling promo. This is a real life battle. What do you think wrestling is, Dr. Jones? Hey, double M, wait until the last moment to light it, okay? What? You really think we need to increase the tension here? It will look great for the video. Come on, it's the best thing for the FWC. I'll see what I can do. Oh no! Oh no! We're doing this bit again? Remember when we had to escape from the Road Warriors? Remember when I played Terminator 2 on the Amstrad CPC? And it was uh, very akin to this, actually. But, like, bad. I do remember this part of the Road Warrior escape, though, was, um, hit the boost pads, cut your way through with a boost, never give up, trust your instincts, gee, I've been saved by Fox, how swell. This is fine. I'm not worried about a thing. Is it, uh, I'm not worried about the ga game stuttering. What was that? <laughs> you guys are seeing this, right? The mini, the, the boost pads are like resetting the map. <laughs> What's going on? This I feel to be indicative of the game as a whole. What's going on? What's, what's happening? Why can't I move down the screen? Uh, uh yes! Yes! <laughs> there you go! Uh, first time! First try. I guess. Ready to light it? Of course. Do you have an ignition device? Hmm. I guess being the king of spontaneity can have its drawbacks. They're approaching. Do something. What's going on, Ken? They seem to be in position, but there's a problem. What is it? What's wrong? They don't have anything to light the fuse with. Muchacho man! Vanetta! Get out of there! It's too dangerous! Come, muchacho man. We must vacate to safety. Vacate! Does it look like we're on vacation? But we do not have any fire. No, but we do have space! Now what's happening? Doesn't look good. That idiot! He's going to get himself killed! Wait, look! Oh my. Oh, see! Sí. 
uh, master. I trust you bring word of our invasion. Do we have them on the ropes already? Not exactly. They've actually blocked our advance. What? But how? The MWL is mostly disbanded. There's only a nominal force that remains. They appear to have an unknown wrestler with them. Someone powerful. Perhaps we should speak with our leader. Well, I have noticed that the game is using American spellings for things, and I'm pretty sure it's made in America. But then... Isn't... I, th I thought America was also kilometers. In England, it's miles. All the signs are in miles. I don't know. Did you see that? What a shot! Such strength, such heroism! Such spice! I don't believe it. That was certainly impressive. No, I mean, I don't believe it. That was impossible. Maybe I can give you a chemistry lesson later, Bobby. And teach you about the physical reaction between space and opportunity. That was incredible. This is going to be a huge story for the FWC. Have you ever seen anything like that? That's a group of camp diet and assess the situation. And muchacha man, thanks again. Yeah, see him, America. Miles. I thought that's what that was. This is where you get air miles, and not air kilometers. Delta back here. Uh-huh. So, how'd you get captured? Those edicts get the drop on you? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, those bargain men wrestle soldiers slimed right up on me. Now I saw them coming. And they took you right by the shore? Just popped out of the water? Exactly. Sneaky, right? Yeah. It's just that... Well, the shoreline's pretty far from Camp Diet, isn't it? Maybe. So what were you doing way out there? Wasn't that kind of dangerous? And stupid, even for a smuggler? Can it. There's been a change of plans. Holster, you take the supplies back to Camp Diet. Nuke and the smuggler, you come with me. Wait, where are we going? I need to get back to the toy box, Jimmy, and the others. You will be. I'll explain on the way. Come on, follow me. I like how the traitor is still in there. Like, from the beginning of the game. Alright, troops. We've had an early victory thanks to Muchacho Man's bravery, but the war is just heating up. One of the squads managed to take a prisoner. We've learned that IEW have established an artillery, blah, 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 blah. an artillery placement on Death Drop Hill. There you go. The age of the Iron Edict is at hand. Please, no one cares about the IEW. Not since Sergeant Slaughter Campbell clutched you in his oblivion decades ago. Yes, but that was a different time. Things have changed. The MWL is no more. But there's no Sergeant Slaughter. No wrestlers here to stop us. That combined with our new ally. New ally? Huh? Oh, I forgot I said that. The point is, all will hail and applaud Edict Wrestling and the enemies of freedom. We command it! Mandatory applause? Sounds as evil as scripted wrestling. Enough of this crazy talk. Take him away. We need someone to spearhead the assaults on the artillery placements. Not only they'd have Lockhart and his crew do it, but they haven't returned. We chat your man, we'll lead the charge, General. I will. He will? Are you crazy? I don't know anything about tactics and military formations. Just trust me, this will be great material for your promo video. But it seems a bit irresponsible. These wrestle soldiers could be put into danger. I. Look, establishing you as a frontline leader is the perfect move for the FWC. That's what our promotion needs. Well, if it's for the promotion... I'll leave the command to you, then. Head north when you're ready. This... Uh, has taken a bizarre turn. 
I don't I don't know what's going on with this war storyline. Appropriately, what is it good for? You expect me to lose to this guy? It's the start of his ascendancy squeeze. His technical mastery versus your berserker might. It is the perfect matchup to showcase Brink and his skills. What about his pet? Where does the moose come in? Stag will be used elsewhere in the company. Brink is ready for his breakout singles career. This is ridiculous! This is unacceptable! It... As unacceptable as you letting Mochacho Man win the mall brawl. Fine, I'll do it. But only because I'm a loyal team player, understand? That's a really good piece of music. It's the theme tune to Cannon Fodder. We were talking about that yesterday. Or the day before when uh, I was watching Polly play some XCOM. Do you need help counting? One, one, one. Celine, what are you doing here? I'm in between shows right now, and I heard the famous Brink Logan was in town, so I just had to come get an autograph. Yeah, <laughs> that autograph is going to be worth even more. When I'm the PAW champion. Champion? For real? That's amazing! Yeah, my run starts tonight with a match against Big Daddy Squeeze. Expect a big surprise. Your run? Where's Stag? Stag's not coming, Celine. This isn't an Honest Bucks match, because the Honest Bucks don't exist anymore. Dissension! Smellness! But you and Stag have been the Honest Bucks forever! Celine. Does Dad know about this? Celine, can we not talk about this right now? I've got enough on my mind already. I have a match tonight, and a job to take care of before that. Sort of a scouting mission. Yeah, we were talking about counter fodder on um, Polly's stream, and uh, gosh, what a great theme tune! Good soundtrack too. The um. The recruitment theme is called Narcissus, and there's lyrics to it. It sounds kind of Pink Floydy. It's great. Is Selena my team? She sure is. So, let's give you one of those. Because I want that underdog halo. I want it. Oh. Softened or stunned. That's what the difference is. Okay. Nothing else that I can do weapons wise. I do have a recipe... Oh, zebra print tights for the wildest cakes. Armor rating is that. That that's that's the booty man right there. Actually, it's not. That's the zodiac. Uh, a character who uh, could only say yes or no, and would often do so as he came down to the ring. Actually. Do a bit of that. But, uh, yeah, no, Z Zodiac, what a weird character. One of, I believe, 17 gimmicks that Ed Leslie had. <laughs> Is this lift fixed yet? Can I go down now? What? That's not what I wanted. Why would you let me do that, game? Much better. Now I don't have to fight my way through the ice cream factory. Appropriately, I can simply split.
Hold your applause, chat. I don't worry. That was great. I know it was great. That was fine. The game didn't like it. The game crashed. Um, but, <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. It just makes my joke even funnier. The game's just over here like, no. No, we're not going to look at that right now. Speaking of mega cats, do you know what Rin showed me? Cat. I got a picture of a sleepy kitty, and I am down for that picture of a sleepy kitty. Thank you very much for sharing, Rin. I appreciate it very much. Oh man, I wonder if Vendetta can hybridize the title screen. Where do we think this is going to put me? Hopefully, back where I was. Like, on the world map, as Brink and Selene. But, if not, I did fairly recently save for this exact reason. So, hey, there you go. Fool me once, game. You, you can't fool me again. That's definitely how that saying goes. Don't look it up. I hear world map sounds. I'm on the world map. Alrighty, let's, let's rock and roll. Back where we were, with only minimal faffing around. Oh, actually, actually, this is the world map, world map. So you know what I can do? I can go to my quests. I can go to this one and I'm pretty sure I can now teleport to Malibu Heights and this will let me go and follow up the Rocky Johnson side quest which honestly sounds a bit more interesting than whatever that war nonsense is oh I can also go hang out with Jeff Jarrett Round three of trying to get his name right. J E double F J A double R E double T. There you go. All right, run this by me again. It's simple. They must have switched from petty vandalism to kidnapping because they need money, especially if they're based here in Malibu Heights. I'm going to pretend to be a trafficker looking to hire them for their services. Once I earn their trust, I'll be able to find out where they're keeping your son. You have a story ready? You better make it believable while you're in there. Don't mess up any details. Say, I recognize those colors. You're the Smarks, aren't you? I'm here for crime. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. That's a shame. I could use some muscle for a job I'm putting together. What kind of job. Got a counterfeit luchador mask ring? Need protection for my smugglers. Counterfeit masks, eh? Where are you selling them? I only know that one of these places exists. Uh, camp, camp diet. Wait. Salazzo. Okay. Camp Diet, they're not going to buy them. Pudoshi, that's a Japan joke. I'm going to say Silazzo, because that sounds like... Siazzo, sorry, it's LL. Silazzo, if you're Welsh. I see. Should be a good customer base down there. See, what do you make these things out of? Where do you source your materials?
Nothing but money pigs from Junk Lodgy. Oh, so they, okay. So rat furs don't exist in Kalgaria. Um, Ahuizotls don't exist in the glory fields. So I'm going to say money pigs in Junk Lodgy. Junk Lodgy? How was that once? Say, there's a wrestle statue over there. Who is it? Jake. It's Jake. We haven't, uh, I don't think we found a Luna statue. Um, and Lapaka is in San Sebastian. So I think that's Jake. Sounds like a solid operation you got planned. Solid snake! Alright, I'll set up a meeting with my boss. Go to the mall food court in an hour. Thanks. I think I will. One moment, please. Ooh, actually. No, you're not a like a shop shop. Rock Johnson sounds like something that is not a euphemism for anything at all. Uh, Rocky Johnson is the soul man. Thank you very much. Because uh, they, he wouldn't do a take where he didn't say the soul man. <laughs> So that's just how they had to subtitle it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go and do that. See if we can clean off some of these quest markers. You are here. Do you know what? I will take some healing, and then go, <gasps> yes, actually, I'll go to the mall, because there's equipment in here, isn't there? Yes, there is, because Brideheart has the bulletproof dress, which is still hilarious, and I can give one of those to Celine, and I may be able to pick up a thing or two for Brink as well. See, there you go. It, if I had just done my thing and gone to the next plot point, we wouldn't have had, like, bonus equipment. And it would be kind of hard to go to the next plot point. So there you go. Tactical heals. Bulletproof dress. There we go. Wonder if there's anything else over here. Possibly. This is the entrance area, like where you get stuff for your walk on stage. So we're not gonna do that. I already bought those. We are in fact going to go uh, to where I'm supposed to go. So let's do it. Dude, have you seen the arcade, dude? They have the sickest games. Too bad my hooves are too big for the controls. Nah, man, what you want to do is you want to get you some DDR. Or Tycho Drum Master. You're the head smock? Guess you minion filled you in about my plan. Certainly. Sounds great. Too good to be true. Too bad it is. Brink Logan. What, you think I wouldn't recognize you? Dang, fooled by my own fame. Maybe I should have let Crunch take this. You say Crunch? Crunch Kavanaugh? Yeah, you jerks took his son. Wrong. I am his son. What? You kidnapped yourself? Wait. You said all this up, but why? Guess you'll never know, will you? That, that I honestly, I didn't see that coming. That swerve, Russo's writing this one. Swerve Concerto. That 
That's not a concerto. Um, but it's still pretty awesome. Oh, I hate this one. Because this is like four button prompts, and I get all of them wrong. See if I don't. I would have said Conchef Fro, but I'm at. I'm going to take a moment to pat myself on the back. I'm very proud of that. Thank you very much. Well, you do seem fairly sparkly, Ren. So. Why am I running? I beat those dudes! At their own game, even! Whoa, what's going on here? Rocky Johnson! No way! Rocky Johnson? Oh, my, you're my hero! My dad's here, too! Come on, boss. Look at soft now. Let's crush these goons. Goon? Hi, goons! Who are you calling a goon? The Johnson Shuffle! Now you're in for it! <laughs> nice dance moves, you. <laughs> oh, that's really good ambient noise. I don't know how well it picked up. There was a. Uh, she hit a car and a siren went off. That was great. Oh, he's not on my team. That's all I need. That's Bathing in glitter sounds very difficult to get off. Although, I do believe O Whales would approve. I. I made sure that the blanket that I sent to O Wales, I made sure that there was glitter in it. Um because who who wouldn't want glitter in your baby blanket? Tell me this. O Wales sure would. Well, in answer to your question, Rin, um, after the one that is currently being worked on, that's going to be ready probably when I get back from Japan, uh, appropriately. Um, and then after that, uh, we can begin on yours. I've got the colors picked out. I know what it's going to be. It's going to be a very Rin blanket. But... You gotta give me a bit. Why don't you tell me what's going on here, son? It's... It's a family thing. I came from a big wrestling clan. My dad expected me to enter the business, but... I was never sure if I... What I had takes up... If I had what it takes to live up to their accomplishments. Pressure growing up, training, living in such a big shadow is too much. So I bailed, hooked up with the smocks. It was them who convinced me to do the little ransom scheme. I have a son too. I never wanted my son to enter pro wrestling. When he talked me into it, I trained him, but I never made it easy on him. I was tough on him, because I wanted him to work for it, and earn it. And he did. Sounds like your dad is just doing the same. In any case, you owe it to him to explain yourself. I think you're right, sir. Thank you. 
Come on. Bet I'll be excited to see you. Both of you. You can't just... Hey, I met Rocky Johnson. You're coming with me now. <laughs> you can't just do that. Oh yeah, that's right. The exit's here, isn't it? It's like a second exit. I think we are going to turn in the Rocky Johnson quest. Maybe see if we can go and find the Jeff Jarrett one. And from there, maybe that'll be today. I don't know. Depends how long the double J one takes. You know, maybe this is why I can't find um, D Diva or whatever her name is in the other timeline because I'm taking the wrong exit to the world map and the game's like, no, go this way instead. Be honest with you guys, um, I've, 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 my eyes have just drifted over to Empirical Woodland Stream. They've done this a time or two today. Crafting guitars and somebody's waving a hand around on a stick? What are you doing? What a bizarre game. Anyway. Back to the world map to do that stuff and things I just said. Also... Um, smark, the term smark is a wrestling term. It means smart mark, um, and it is generally related to, it, it's used to refer to people who like, they know that wrestling isn't wrestling, and they know, like, they, they think they're like kind of in on it. There's uh, footage of, oh, it's painful, a, a couple of smarks approaching the wrestler Yokozuna um, and being like, hey, Rodney, hey, what's up? Because Rodney, I believe he's on the Hawaii, but uh, yeah, his people name was Rodney and smarks, smarks, a lot of them. And that's why it's a bad thing that those gangsters were that. Is... Yeah. This isn't... Oh! Oh, 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 oh! This is the other one, though, isn't it? This is where... This is where... Jeff Jarrett was. How do I? How? Where? Is, where's Jeff? Junglaji Safari Outpost. Well, Rin, I think you can have a guess as to what some of these colors will be, but um, yeah. Good time. I was going to do the usual bit when I get to this map and follow the quest marker rather than. Yeah! Break stuff! Follow the quest marker rather than necessarily following the intended path because uh, screw it, this way's easier. See, now normally, 
This is the kind of thing that video games make you do one time and then give you the option to skip. Because, uh, yes, it certainly is a long and winding road. Why am make again? Not want to. That's a very Hyrule Fight Club riff, isn't it? Like from Melee? Just a little bit. I'm sure I've said that before. I've passed through this stage numerous times at this point. Um, and I do like recognizing things that sound like other things. Can I break you? No. Are you a Doug Trio? This looks like a Doug Trio. I feel like I'm jinxing myself in saying as much. At the very least, I've been able to skip past some of these fights and not do them, which is kinda what I want. See, I'm glad you know what I mean when I talk about Hyrule Fight Club, because that little bit on the platform, next to the little slanty slope, just party time. Bring your down B counters. Junglaji Safari Outpost. All right. You'd better play, ain't I great? Come on, Jeff. Let's go. Where are you? That was that was Jeff Jarrett's thing in the WWF in like the mid late nineties. He had a country singer gimmick, and his whole thing was his song was called "Ain't I Great." Is he here? Is Jeff here? Oh, I can't wait to see him. I hope I win that scholarship. No way, I'm definitely going to get it. Are you kidding? Nobody's a bigger JJ fan than me. Don't forget about me. Jeff, I'm your biggest fan. No, I'm more than a fan. I'm a devotee. Wow, that was a pretty extreme response. Just imagine what she would have done if he were actually here on stage. I wonder where he is. JJ's scholarship is going to fund one new wrestler's training. Man, I hope I get it. Oh, Jeff is here alright. He's over at the hotel, and I'm sticking around until he comes out. Still looking to get even. <laughs> Jeff hit me with a guitar, I bet. And he never drew a dime. Hotel, it... Oh, I wonder which building is the hotel. It's this one that says hotel in it. Alright, where are you, Jeff? Let's go. Isn't that the exit? I feel like that's the exit. Where are you sending me, game? Probably in his room. That's right. Oh my maker, you are here! 
Ain't I great? Yeah! He said the thing! When I heard you were giving a demonstration of making a donation to a Young Wrestler Scholarship Fund, I, I just had to come. As a third generation wrestling promoter, I know we, <laughs> we need to sow into the next generation of Sam enthusiasts. Buy some gold. Give me some money. It's totally in a crypto scam. The only catch is... Someone has stolen the guitar. I can't do the promo match or make the donation. This is horrible, Double J. Uh, but don't worry. Brink Logan is on the case. Together, we'll find the culprit. Was anything else missing? Or just the guitar? Now that you mention it, only the guitar. They must have been targeting specifically. You think they knew about the sack of slam bucks inside? Maybe. Or maybe it was somebody who had it out for you, personally. We should check the local shops to see if any large amounts of cash have come through. We should also talk with the hotel concierge. See about the security system. <laughs> Let's tell the player what to do and then tell them where to do it. And then they'll do it. And then we'll give them another point. Don't worry about it. This is an accidental completionist run, not that kind. Um, and, and, and fortuitous, given what we're doing. Um, but, you know, we, we, we're helping out Jeff. So don't, don't worry. So, concierge, it's not you, so you? Ape Man, are you aware that there's been a break-in at your establishment? Into Jeff Jarrett's room? A break-in? At my hotel? For one of my most distinguished guests? Ah! You have any type of security system we could check? Our system does register whenever a door has been opened. Let me see... According to the records, no one has been in or out of Mr. Jarrett's room, except for Mr. Jarrett himself. You saying I stole my own guitar? Wait. The system only checks the door, right? Maybe the burglar didn't use the door. Maybe they come in through a window? Or the roof? Maybe we go to local shops. Hello, do you have a suspiciously gimmicked guitar? It's made of like incredibly cheap wood, maybe. Oh man, I should have come here with Muchacho Man as well because, like I say, he's got the the game hunting one to turn in. Ah, it's fine. We'll do this. We'll do that. <laughs> Quick as a cat, hit him with a bat. The man called Sting. That's not the guy's... Actually, that... That's pretty close to Sting's original theme tune. Anyways. Good luck finding that Gatorkin village. Anyway. That's not a bit of promotion for us. That's not for us. Whoa, two wrestling legends in my store? Awesome. How can I help you two? Has anyone made any large purchases recently? See any big stacks of cash come through? Nope. Business as usual. Looks like the thief didn't use a slime box from your guitar. Yeah. Or maybe they didn't even know about him. Come to think of it. I didn't mention a scholarship donation was inside the guitar to anyone. That would mean the thief didn't take the guitar for the money. The tracks of our personal vendetta theory. A compliment for Rin. What an adorable cat you have. You showed it off. And I like it. There you go. Very sleepy cat. I, th I think we should just go talk to... 
Oh, the gorilla's gone. Investigate local shops, it says. But that's the only one! I'm pretty sure. Man, I'm gonna need some better tires to get through these jungles. So... There's a question mark over here. Let's go to that question mark. See that crazy fan that rushed the stage earlier? Guess the guards took her to a house nearby to let her cool down. She's that wound up. She might be capable of doing something drastic. Hmm. You know... It could also be her. I guess I was beelining towards uh, King Gorilla, but no, that, that other thing makes sense as well. I came for the thrill of the hunt and I'm simply the best there's ever been. Oh my maker, it's him! Ah, Double J, maybe you should wait outside. Bring him back! Not until you tell me why you're so obsessed with him. Isn't it obvious? His songs are about me! What? Oh, don't deny it! You're just like my boyfriend! Super jealous! Jeff Jarrett's major song is called Ain't I Great. It's on the NAA record, not available anywhere. Yep, so that's him. These guys are just talking about how great uh, JJ is. Those two are uh, sharing the same dialogue box, which is kind of interesting. You guys look like you know how to slip by unnoticed. Yeah, it's uh, quite convenient for hunting. Hunting, eh? What about burglary? Burglary? Only cowards would do that. We're about honor and battle. Yeah, when we're not crying about our girlfriend's right soul slicer. Shut up. You! I thought you might turn up here, you. Uh, break, this guy is definitely the thief. Tone Deaf Kong here has been upset ever since my song topped his on the charts. That's why I'm glad you're here. I challenge you to a strum off right here, right now. Love to if you hadn't stolen my guitar. Stole your guitar? Are you nuts? Slap nuts? I'm here to beat you fair and square and reclaim my honor. I can't do that if you don't have a guitar. I guess he has a point. To be honest, I heard some awful twanging down by the waterfall. I figured it was you practicing. Ha <laughs> ha! But maybe it has something to do with your missing guitar. Is this really a good idea to be doing on my own? Probably not. I'm I'm gonna save and see what the game says, and from there, we, uh, we'll we'll go from there. Damn it, Crowley! You're right. When has <laughs> when has a bad idea ever stopped me? Literally never. I'm still salty about this dual propeller boat that I made 
when I was like four. See, we did it in DT class in school, right? And my idea was, if I put a, um, a propeller at the front of the boat and at the back of the boat, then the boat could go forwards or backwards. And I built it, and I made it out of wood. And it didn't work because I built it out of wood. And... Um, it, it floated such that the propellers weren't actually in the water. So, yeah, not my finest hour. What was four-year-old me thinking and doing? Probably struggling with maths. Um... See, this is fine. I can sneak around the the little pig enemies. It's all good. Yeah. That's what I think of you, Rock. Well, yes, four-year-old me had four-year-old brain. And Dad, who was the teacher at the time, said, I, I could see this mistake coming a mile off. I knew you were going to do it. And I knew it wouldn't work, but obviously I'm not allowed to tell you why, because, you know, you can't just give the answers to the students, especially your own kid. So, uh, so that's why that didn't work out. Okay, good. At least I'm in a position where you guys are doing nothing to me. Do you know what I need to do? Do you know what I need to do immediately is to destroy this barrel of monkeys? Get out of here! No more spawning ads for you. Now it's just a case of getting my attacks in and we're 21 stuns are you kidding me that that is some ridiculous comboing right there get out of here i ain't dealing with that see it's the kind of thing like this boat right it's the kind of thing now that Reckon I know a way around that now, and that is to uh, weigh it down a little bit at the bottom, but not too much so that it sinks and becomes immobile. I don't know. Maybe that was the lesson all along. Yeah. Um... <laughs> This is one of those things where it's like, oh, damn it, my teachers were correct. Like, one of the, the last days when I was in school, the, um, the headmaster planted a tree, a little sapling, and said, one day you will pass this tree and you'll think, man, I was there when that tree was planted. Look how it's grown. Look how I've grown. And um, I went, no, I won't. Yeah, I do. I absolutely do. And I'm like, ah, he was right. If 
I get a level out of this little minion grinding, I'd be very surprised. I don't, don't want to fight you. Can you can you wander past me? No. Okay. Cool. Fine. Do you think there's going to be much more to it with this Rocky Johnson plot? Because, <laughs> like, depending how long this goes, I might do that next time, but, uh... Yeah, get countered! But, um... Yeah. See, this is one of the problems with doing the slightly later finishes like this at work, is... I... I don't mind doing my three-hour streams. I don't mind running a little over sometimes. But, like... I don't want to go, like, late, late, because the... I don't know. I would feel bad for doing this. For some reason. Let's, let's bring up Breath of Fire 4 again. My hilarious ending, which didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. I wonder if Gonigiri is supposed to be like going a guy. Possibly. Nagai means long in Japanese. And you remember it because Naga. Nagas are quite long animals. So. <laughs> From a different culture. What are you doing here? This is the spot, supposedly. I don't hear anything except the waterfall. Yeah, it's. Wait, what's that? Slow time events. I hate slow time events. Run for it. Uh, I did run. Where run to? Oh. Slow time events is a term given to what you have essentially just seen here, where the prompt sort of stays on the screen until you push it. It can be hilarious. Um, oh, you done did it now. You made a big mistake. The lower my hype gets, the tougher I become! I take one shot. I'll never go in, comes a blazer. I want to say that's one of the big shows. Entrance music's probably not. EXP penalty, having to do the fight in the first place. You, you, you're not getting anything decent from that, Brink. Get out of here. Why is... Get out of here, game! Celine was just following the whole time, but, but decided not to join in. <laughs> yeah. What a video game. You, you are, you're totally right, Jaded View. This is... <sighs> Thank you. 
Do you know what? She might could have gotten a level out of this as well. Wait. Wait. Oh, was it monkey? Was it monkey this whole time? And he sent us out here into an ambush. Oh, possibly. I don't know. I'm not very good at detectiving. So. What was that all about? I'm not sure. But it's clear that somebody didn't want us to check out that waterfall. It's got to be the thief. But who could it be? Missing guitars. Obsessed fans. Jealousy. I think I know. Let's go talk to Inspector Munch. go talk to him to make an accusation like in Murder by Numbers and the music just sort of goes when you get it wrong and the game points out that Andy no that's no what no <laughs> that's not how any of these accusations work go back and try again play some more Picross and I did right Just, just to be on the safe side. Just, just to be on the safe side, everybody. Oh, Mr. Logan, have you completed your investigation? Who is the thief? <laughs> Cooper Killer, the jerk. Quarter ton, the jealous musical rival. I bet it was Jeff Jarrett, actually. I think you may have taken one too many bumps to the head, kid. Come on. You're the ultimate heel. You definitely did this with some cheap heat. Sorry, Brink, but we didn't find the guitar. I think you missed something. Next to nothing, Brink. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my actual original guess. I'm gonna say it was quarter ton. Oh! Oh, you just you just don't get anything from that mission then. Alright, and fair enough, because that's that was a pretty uh Pretty big mistake to have made right there. This is why we save. So I can get it right the next time. Quarter ton, the jealous musical rival. Me? Are you nuts? This ape's got a Kong sized jealous streak. Plus, he knows how to use the guitar. Take him away. Of all the times when you could get away with saying, Bake him away, toys. Sorry, Brink, but we didn't find the guitar. I think you missed something. Thanks for trying, Brink. I'll find a different way to support the scholarship fund. Oh. What could I have missed? So, okay, okay, so I think it's going to be... If you get the correct accusation, then they go, yes, I did it, and, and let me tell you something 
a mean gene, and so it goes on. Um, well, what, um... Ah, no, the concierge? What? He's... I'm not really sure, but he's definitely guilty. Sorry, we didn't find the guitar. You missed something. Thank you for trying. I'll find a different way. Okay. I've I've definitely missed something. So what I think I'm gonna do... Let's go check out the hotel. If there's nothing apparent in the hotel... Give it a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make another accusation. Um, and then we will d come back to it. I'll have a think on it, we'll come back to it, and then... I don't know, maybe go do the Rocky Johnson stuff as well, because... That's going to require going through a dungeon, and I, I no longer wish to do that. Not right now. So, the person couldn't have come in through the window, because there is no window to come in through. So, what if it was um, the predator? Right? He followed Jeff Jarrett into the room, waited, took it, and left. Like, I can't imagine it's going to be the lovesick fan. I don't even remember who Cooper Killer was. Uh, he's probably the guy, uh, one of the predators, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, Soul Slicer and Cooper Killer. Same naming conventions. Oh my god, three dramatic chords, I love it. What? Why would I want a guitar? It's not about the guitar. It's about what it represents. To your girlfriend. Outlaw lover. Baby, what's he talking about? You knew that she was in love with JJ's music. So much so that it made you sick. But you couldn't compete. Not on those terms. So what do you do? You spoiled his moment instead. You thought if you could make him look bad, maybe she would start looking at you. Plus, you thought maybe she could write a new love song to trump JJ's. So it was you that were in the waterfall. And the one that attacked us. Is this true? Fine, yeah, it's true. But I did it for love. Cool. Still a crime. <laughs> Brink, great work. We recovered the guitar and Double J's donation to the scholarship fund. What should we do with the culprit? Let him go. What? Under one condition. And remember, if all else fails, try to power music. Yeah! Didn't draw a dime! You really letting him off like that? Certainly. Oddly enough, that guitar shop made his girlfriend like him even more. I don't think I'll have any more trouble with him. Uh, I guess that's a wrap then. Not quite. Here, I want you to have this. Thanks for all your help. We got Jeff Jarrett's ugly suit. 
I, I am honored. That is a great way to end the stream. What I'm going to do for the next one, I'm going to go back through the dungeon, back all the way back to where Rocky Johnson lives. And then that's where we're going to start the next stream. We're going to do that, come back to the, the like plotting and storyline and all the rest of that. Celine could have gotten some levels. I'm a little bit annoyed that I did get any levels on Celine. Here's my ending screen. Who go say hello to today? It is going to be. Click. Click's a cool guy. Click is playing Assassin's Creed Mirage. Let's go say hello to him. Thank you for stream. Thank you for watch. Thank you for watching, everybody. You guys are great. I'm um, gonna go say hello to Click, and that'll be that. No streams for the next two days because I'm on my late shifts, so I gotta be in work to do those, and I can't really stream then. What a letdown. Um, but we're gonna keep it going with hype on Saturday. So let's. Let's get ready for that. Tune in next time for some of that. Let's go raid click. And until next time, goodbye.